Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man here to talk about the picture quality of free over-the-air TV by antenna. I've seen a lot of different discussions on this. Everywhere from the picture quality is better than cable and satellite, it's the same as cable and satellite, and some people who still think it looks like this from the analog days. What's the true story? I'll let you know in this video. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Before I talk about the picture quality of over-the-air TV, I need to give thanks to today's sponsor, the Fanu Soundbar. What's the point of a clear HD or 4K picture when the sound on your TV's internal speaker sounds something like this, lacking any kind of bass? Don't keep your sound in the graveyard like AM radio. The Finu soundbar is an affordable way to get great sound from your TV. It contains twin two and three quarter inch treble drivers matched with a large five and a quarter inch bass driver to give your room superior sound. The remote allows you to adjust the treble and bass intensity whether you are watching a movie, TV show, or listening to music. You can also wirelessly connect your phone or tablet directly via Bluetooth. Follow the link in the description of this video to the Finu soundbar and upgrade your TV sound today. So back to the main subject of this video, the picture quality of over-the-air TV. Many times when I've set up antennas in the Eastern PA region, the customer's jaw will drop when they see the picture quality of over-the-air TV mainly because cable companies supply a basic cable box that gives them standard definition TV. If I were to convert this video to the equivalent of a 4x3 standard definition signal, you can clearly see that it does not look as good as a high definition signal. So if we're talking about the standard definition analog cable box, no doubt the picture quality of over-the-air TV is better than cable since it's usually high definition. But what if you get HD from your cable provider? Is the picture quality of over-the-air better? In most situations, yes, and I'm going to explain why. You see, most cable and satellite services have to convert the signal they receive from a broadcast TV station many times to fit on a system where it goes through various pipes and eventually it's decoded by a cable box. This usually results in worse picture quality in the form of compression artifacts. This is more noticeable when there is a lot of movement on the screen, especially during sporting events. Many times I will go to public places to watch a game with friends and I can notice the compression on the TVs in the business when it would be less noticeable with an over-the-air signal. Now, there are some exceptions to the rule. In some situations, the picture quality on cable and satellite services can be better than what you'd get over the air if you watch a station that has a channel sharing agreement. For example, in Philadelphia, WPHL 17 shares with WVUP Univision 65. Since there are two HD channels and five subchannels shoved on one single RF channel, the picture quality suffers a little bit like this Comet channel on WPHL 17.4. Looks like complete crap. I should make the note that the picture quality of a specific channel you get over the air will be the same regardless of whether you have a strong signal or a weak signal. The picture quality doesn't drop if the signal is low like it does over the internet. Instead, the picture will break up like this, which may make presidential debates easier to watch. If you use an antenna and experience this kind of breakup on several major channels, you may need a better antenna setup. I do offer custom antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. In the case of some stations like Comet on WPHL 17-4 in Philadelphia, the horrible picture quality is just the way it's being broadcast since there are many channels shoved on one single frequency. If you're curious to find out the video bit rates on your local TV channels, you can do so by going to rabbitears.info. 
type in your address or GPS coordinates. If you click on the call letters of a station and then scroll down to the yellow section, click on technical data and it will show you the bit rate of each video stream on the channel. You can see that the bit rate of most high definition channels should be between seven to 12 megabits per second. Anything under that, usually on a channel share, may have a lower picture quality and show more compression on the picture. This is the case in Youngstown, Ohio. The local CBS, Fox, and ABC affiliates all channel share on one RF channel, which reduces the picture quality compared to if each network had their own broadcast signal. Why are there channel shares like this if it negatively impacts the picture quality? It's a direct result of the FCC repack, which took away UHF channels 38 through 51. Pretty much there was not enough room for every broadcaster to move to lower frequencies when the FCC sold some of the spectrum to cell phone companies, and some had to take payouts from the FCC to go off the air and channel share with another station in the market. Hopefully I did not get too off topic with this, but I try to include some substance in my videos. To get back to my main point, the picture quality of over-the-air TV is better than cable and satellite services in most situations. However, there are exceptions when you have a channel share on a given TV station. If you see more than one channel on a rabbit ears report with the same RF channel in parentheses, that's a channel share. Examples in the markets around me include WFMZ 69, there are 10 channels shoved on there. WNEP 16, there are I think six or seven channels shoved on there. And WCAU NBC 10 in Philadelphia. While the channel shares will slightly degrade the picture quality, it isn't that noticeable and surely is not worth paying for a cable or satellite TV service just to get a slightly better picture quality. As ATSC 3.0 launches in the coming years, I expect to see higher picture quality over the air through the use of HEVC codec. I'll have an upcoming video on when I think we'll see live 4K broadcasts over the air, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching my YouTube channel. A huge thanks to these folks who support me on Patreon. I spend between five to eight hours each day on the channel and these folks help make my videos possible. If you would like to help support the YouTube channel while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, monthly live streams, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man. If you're on Facebook, like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you are not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on when I post new videos, follow the link in the description to my email list. Stay tuned to my channel for more cord cutting and antenna related information and have an awesome day.